Hey there folks, this is Andre the Game Idea Guy and I'm going to be talking about Nintendo being the richest company in Japan and also that their stocks dropped because of a delay, a supposed delay of a machine that has not been announced. No name, no nothing. No code name in the IR reports. No information about this machine is actually available to the public. And it was never told to us in any way, shape, or form. We never found it anywhere where their information would be spread. But they, um... <laughs> but they delayed it. Okay, so I'm going to hit on that real quick first because that's... That, that one, that's, that's a quick thing to talk about. <laughs> Investors tend to worry about very quick, high boosted returns. They're not worried about long term, at least not, as, not for the majority that I have seen of things about. They're worried about a quick hit and a quick pull. That, that wouldn't have sounded right. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I'm going to stop there before it goes further. They're looking for a big boosted amount to pull their money back out of. They put their money in when it's low, retrieve it when it's high. That's what a lot of them do. Not everybody's looking for just long-term sustainability. So, I, I wouldn't put too much worry in the fact that their stock price dropped a little bit, especially when their stock price is still up from where it was when the year started. So no big, no big deal. Now moving on. Nintendo <clears throat> is the richest company in Japan. I believe it was with, what, 11 billion in uh, liquid, liquid money for them. So... Yeah, they, they are basically the kings of Japan right now. Kings and queens of Japan, if you count the female staff. And that, that's, hey, they've done what is needed to be done in order to get to that position. It's ironic, though. It's <laughs> really ironic. Because it was a guy that posted a meme of a per perfect sale with the PS5 color scheme. <laughs> it said, uh, they said, Microsoft defeated, Nintendo defeated. <laughs> I, I, I severely wish I was in the, in the Nintendo's position of being defeated. I really do, because if you get defeated and you become the richest in your country, I, I'll take that defeat any time. I will take that. I, I'll take that. I will gladly take that loss. I will smile at that loss. <laughs> like, that's where fanboyism goes completely wrong. It, it's, it's like one of those things where you just like, bro, just don't. Just don't. Just, just don't do it. I don't know. Maybe it's those tr those double A shovelware games that they're pumping out. Maybe that's why they're the richest company in Japan. Gosh, man. I swear. The memes that come out of the community for the people that just have no grip on reality. Funny as hell. <laughs> it's just funny as all hell. And I just sit down and think about like Dude, let, let's just be real. They have done what has been best for their company to be able to thrive. For the most part, it seems their employees are happy out of a, outside of a few that here or there that have some gripes. They don't, they don't kill the potentiality of sales of any of their games. They let them stay at full price. Until there's a time where it's like, okay, well, 
this isn't going to sell anymore. Let's make a player's choice version of the game and put it out there for about 20 bucks. Then you have Nintendo Switch Online service, which people are saying nobody, nobody's paying into, but apparently they're making money off of it. I, I would just love to know how people think that by buying into something that the company has set at a price that they determine they can make money off of, they're not making money off of it. I'm pretty sure within the first one to two million people that subscribed to that service, Nintendo was, was making bank off of it. And that's before the expansion pack was added. So they've been making money hand over fist for every avenue. Then you, you still got to count Amiibo. Then you got to count their movies and other merchandise. They make a lot of money. They have plenty of streams of revenue. Hell, that deal with Lego for the uh, Lego Mario game. Not video game, but the board game. I actually wish that they would make a Lego Mario video game. I actually wish that they would do that with a lot more of their franchises. They probably make way more money. If you could get the team that does the Lego games to work on a, a Lego Star Fox, that shit would sell. I know it would. I'm just honestly waiting with them to put the effort into it. Honestly, a lot of... I might have to start doing some videos on that. Um, which games by Nintendo can be turned into Lego. <laughs> or how they could be done. Because, I mean, essentially it's going to, for the most part, be the same game. With some unique differences based on the IP. But that, that, could, that could work. I mean, shoot, I'm already thinking about doing a series on different Warriors games. I could definitely run a series on Lego games. <laughs> Yeah, that's something to think about. Future uh, thoughts here. But they went into this generation not selling their console at a loss. Um, not selling any of their games at a loss. It's just basically been pure profit from day one. Day one of the Switch has pretty much been pure profit going forward. And they've, they've made it that way. Everybody makes fun of the fact that they don't cut the price on their stuff. But um, on the contrary, look at someone else in the, the same arena, in the gaming arena. Sony. They discount their stuff heavily. They sell their consoles at a loss. And now they're putting their games on PC to try to recoup costs. And they are in massive debt. So massive that they don't make the top 200 richest companies in Japan. That's bad for them. That's bad for their business. But yet they're still trudging along trying to sell people on the idea that, hey, this is the best shit ever. We're gonna charge you out. The, we're gonna charge you out the ass for every little thing that we create. But guess what? Our brand, you have it. It means you're the best automatically. Looks like that's not the case, ever. <laughs> so, and that's not to to try to crap once on these products. It's, say what you will. At least what they make is usually of a decent quality. Usually. Um, can't say it about everything, but usually. Problem is that they charge premium prices for everything up front, but then they're not making any money off of it. So it's like they overspent, they don't know how to manage their money, and they're not making enough back. People, people will laugh and joke about the Switch and call it an underpowered platform and say Nintendo's behind times but they are the company in the industry doing the best right now and the, the deal with Sony to work on the Legend of Zelda movie is probably going to benefit Sony more than it's going to benefit Nintendo because again Sony has massive debt 
massive debt, the company is still in the red. Everybody thinks that, <laughs> oh yeah, we, we made a lot in revenue, but that what is your profit? What do you take away from that in the long term? If, if that is still zero, it don't make much of a difference now, does it? At that point, you're paying into a losing system. Sony needs to fix that. And I've said it before, Sony has a chance to reverse this for themselves. They have a chance to flip this so that they can start making money. But it's going to come with a few years of hurt. It's going to come with a few years of hurt. And it's not going to be, oh, bump up your graphics every now and again and everybody will forgive and, and forget. Sony has around, what, 50 million-ish units for PS5 sold? I still don't think that the majority of those are in the hands of individual people who actually play on that system. I'm, I'm thinking, honestly, at least a third of that is still sitting with scalpers who have yet to be able to actually sell the physical hardware that they purchased. It just, it, sales wise, a lot of things don't add up for Sony. And I'm, I'm not even, I wasn't even trying to go into this route. It just, I ran, ran off on this tangent. But it just doesn't make sense for several things. So, again, Nintendo's killing it. Make fun of the company for all the things that you dislike about the company, but they are killing it. They're doing what a business is supposed to be doing, and that's making profit. So, be mad at them for not, not dropping the price of their, their games on a regular basis, for now charging for online service because they, hey, they gave away online service for two generations for free, and people still didn't appreciate that. <clears throat> and now they've put together a paid service with what people asked for last generation that they are now complaining about at least openly um, I, I don't think the majority really care the majority is like okay this is what I gotta do to get what I want okay I'm gonna go ahead and do it but you got the loud uh, loud mouths on the internet <laughs> hey, man but they're doing really good they are highly successful making a lot of money making bank if companies in the industry want to make money, they are the perfect example to look towards. Like everybody, like a lot of people say, oh, they're overcharging for their games. How are they overcharging? Do you know what it took for them to develop that game? Do you know what how much it took for them to get certain games done? No, you don't. Do you know? Do you know? How much it cost them to put out the stuff they put out. You don't. Now, obviously, I don't think that they're paying. They're putting out a lot. They're not paying a lot out because, and I'm talking relative to what they have. They're not paying out a lot relative to what they have because they're not stretching themselves thin. They have multiple teams working on multiple projects. <clears throat> and for the majority, most of those projects turn out very well. Pretty decent. Where they don't have to sell 15 to 20 million units in order to make money off of what they made. Again, that is dangerously unsustainable. We've seen multiple companies having that issue since the advent of the seventh generation. So what does Nintendo do? Make an affordable console that doesn't require as much on the technological side as far as graphics are concerned in order to keep costs down for development. The companies skip over them for development and if they decide, oh, we need a little bit of extra money, they try to backpedal down, which actually end up, ends up costing them more money in the long run 
because they're doing a lot of extra work trying to condense things down and remove things to make it run on this particular platform. Businesses should work from the ground up, not from the top down. And that's kind of how it should work. But um, I think I have uh, elongated this subject more than enough. So if anyone, <laughs> anyone's interested in anything else I have, go ahead and check this stuff out. Otherwise, thank you guys very much for listening and keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games and peace out, everybody.